Today we are going to look at a problem that might look a bit complex in the beginning. Let's just uh, read the question here. Jane bought one third as many almond cookies as chocolate cookies. She gave each of her friends three almond cookies and four chocolate cookies. After which she had three almond cookies and 24 chocolate cookies left. The questions are how many friends received cookies from Jane, which means how many friends did she have uh, to whom she gave the cookies and how many chocolate cookies did uh, Jana buy? Okay, it should be Jane. Uh, how many uh, chocolate cookies did Jane buy? So. Uh, before we go ahead and solve that problem, we need to understand some of the basics uh, behind solving such problems using model method so that it becomes easy for us to understand what happens behind the scenes. Jane had some cookies. She gave three cookies to each of her friends. Now let's see how can we represent this um, pictorially and also using models. Now. Just given a picture here, Jane, a nice girl standing here, some cookies she's got. Um, and assuming, let's say, Jane had three friends and she's cooking, she's uh, giving three cookies to each of her friends. So she is giving three to each of her friends. Each circle here represents a friend of Jane. So there are three friends. So each of them received three cookies. That means total of nine cookies. Now, what happens if she had four friends? Yep, we have four circles here to represent Jane's four friends. And she is giving three cookies to each of them. So that means totally she has four times three, 12 cookies. What if they have, what if Jane had five friends? Now we'll have five circles with three cookies in each of these five circles. So the total number of cookies she has is five times three, which is 15 cookies. Now you look at this, uh, what represents the uh, friends is the circle here. And when you look at all these three, what is common in all these three is the number of cookies that she is giving out right and what varies is the number of friends now let's see how we can use a single uh, model which can represent this uh, information that we have here how do I represent this let's say I can represent this with three units now if I represent it with three units again here also I want to represent with three units because I want some generic model irrespective of how many friends are there so here also I want to represent it with three units so what would the three units mean because you see here all these are multiples of three right so I'm going to have this as three then what will be one unit one unit will be represented by the number of friends so she has three friends so one unit value here will be three similarly for four friends this one unit value would be equal to four the same will happen for five friends as well the value of one unit becomes five so the value of this unit represents the number of friends, whereas the number of units is equal to the number of cookies that she is giving out to each of her friends. So this is the basis that we are going to use to first draw models and subsequently solve the model problems. Now we come back to the question, original question. Jane bought one third as many almond cookies as chocolate cookies. What does that mean? How do we represent this using models? Jane bought one unit of almond cookies 
and three units of chocolate cookies. So Alvin cookies is one unit, uh, chocolate cookies represented by three units. She gave each of her <coughs> friends three Alvin cookies and four chocolate cookies, right? Now, how do we represent this? She gave each of her friends three almond cookies. Basically, she's giving three cookies, right? So, and after she has given three almond cookies to each of her friends, then she's left with three almond cookies. Now, in this, we can actually represent saying that, okay, these three units of the same size, just try to um, correlate what we are doing here with what we saw earlier, right? Here, the number of friends is represented by the value of this unit and she's giving three cookies to each of the friends and she's left with something here, which is three cookies. Now, the same unit structure, because this unit here is also the same size here, so I can represent this in a similar fashion. So here I have three such um, units here. So they are, I am using the same representation in the three units here. But there is one difference between the two. That is, she is giving three almond cookies. She is giving three almond cookies, right? That is the three almond cookies here. And four chocolate cookies which means i should have here four of them given out right so after giving three chocolate cookies to each of her friends uh, she is left with three cookies let's say if she had five friends for example the value of this unit is five so five times three will be 15. So she, she is given away 15 cookies and she's left with three cookies. And she is giving away four chocolate cookies. So that's the reason why we have, you know, shaded uh, these four units in yellow. And what is left is here at three cookies here. And you have two units here, three cookies. Again, three units and the three cookies. We don't know the value of these units yet. So that's what we need to figure out. So we have the three cookies plus the two units left plus three cookies plus three units here plus three here so that is the number of chocolate cookies that is left which we know is 24 chocolate cookies so she had 24 chocolate cookies left so this whole thing here should be equal to 24 cookies now we can go ahead and start uh, working out this so we know that two units plus three units gives us five units so five units plus again three plus three plus three gives you nine so five units plus nine should be equal to 24 so five units is equal to 24 minus nine which is 15 so we know that one unit is equal to 15 divided by three which is again oh uh, yes sorry um, one unit should be 15 divided by 5 which should be 3 so one unit is the value of one unit is 3 and we know that what represents what is uh, represented by the value of a unit that is the number of friends she's got so Jane had three friends or Jane uh, gave cookies to three of her friends. Now, the first question is answered. How many friends received cookies from Jane? Three friends received cookies from Jane. Now, how many chocolate cookies did Jane buy? So what we have here is what is left, but the total number of chocolate cookies is the whole uh, uh, value of this what we have here so let's again work on that how many units are here one two three four five six seven eight nine 
nine units plus you have three plus three plus three all right and that is equal to nine units again one unit is equal to three that's what we have uh, found out here so nine units will be three times nine which is 27 plus three plus three plus three so Jane bought a total of 36 chocolate cookies I hope this is uh, clear so this is how we use models to solve this problem if you understand the background of you know how uh, this is called this particular one the unit size correlates to the number of friends as explained in the previous uh, diagrams then it becomes easy for you to understand the solving this problem now we have used model method to solve this problem next we are going to use algebraic method of solving this problem so the same problem is written here Jane bought one-third as many almond cookies as chocolate cookies she gave each of her friends three almond cookies and four chocolate cookies after which she had three almond cookies and 24 chocolate cookies left how many friends did uh, received cookies from Jane and how many chocolate cookies did Jane buy now first we have to see number of friends that Jane distributed the cookies let's assume that it's going to be X we do not know this right if you compare to the previous one it's like the value this one unit that we represented here which here we say it's X now if X is the number of friends she gave each of her friends three almond cookies which means the total number of almond cookies that chain bought would be three times X that is the total number of cookies that she's going to give to her friends and plus three because she's left with three cookies so it can be represented by 3 times x, 3x plus 3. Now let's see about the total number of chocolate cookies that Jane bought. Now from this first statement, Jane bought one third as many almond cookies as chocolate cookies. What does it say? Chocolate cookies, she bought three times as many chocolate cookies as almond cookies. So the number of chocolate cookies that Jane bought would be three times of this almond cookies that she bought. So it can be represented as three times of this 3x plus 3. Now the another way of looking at how many chocolate cookies that Jane bought is by identifying how much she gave away. She gave four chocolate cookies to each of her friends and she was left with 24 chocolate cookies so the second way of looking at how many chocolate cookies she bought would be four times the number of friends 4x and plus how much chocolate cookies was left which is equal to 24 so that's 4x plus 24 now you take a look at these these two represent the same information that is the number of chocolate cookies that Jane bought so we know that this value here should be equal to this value here so let's go ahead and solve that 3 times of 3x plus 3 should be equal to whatever we had here 4x plus 24 now let's expand this when you expand this it will be 3 times 3x plus 3 times 3 so that would be 3 times 3x is 9x plus 3 times 3 is 9 is equal to 4x plus 24. Now to resolve this, we know that we have to subtract both sides by 4x so that this 4x is cancelled on this side. Here it will become 9x minus 4x and we will subtract both sides with 9 so that 9 is cancelled off here and here it becomes 24 minus 9 so when we do that what happens is 9x minus 4x is 5x and 9 minus 9 is 0 equals here we are at both sides we are subtracting by 4x 
So 4x minus 4x becomes 0 and also we are subtracting by 9, so 24 minus 9. So 5x is equal to 24 minus 9 and 5x is equal to 15, which we can, from this we can find out what's the value of x, x is equal to 3. And we know that what is x, x represents the number of friends to which she gave cookies, so that means Jane has three friends or had three friends. Now we found out how many friends received cookies from Jane and now we are going to find out how many chocolate cookies did Jane buy. So that can be either this or this. I'm just going to take this value. You can substitute the value of x in either of these you know, uh, expressions. So here, if I use this 4 times x is 4 times 3 plus 24, which is 12 plus 24, and that is 36. So from this, we can see that Jane bought 36 chocolate cookies. And this is the algebraic way of resolving this problem. So we have seen both a model method of solving the problem and algebraic way of solving this problem. I hope you enjoyed this video and this was useful to you. If you have any doubts or comments, please uh, you know, put in your comments in the comments section. If you like the video, do give me a thumbs up, like this video, share this video with your friends if you think it would be useful and subscribe to this channel. Thank you very much. Um, have a great day. Bye.